On today's menu, hot dogs. <laughs> Across the globe, what's delicious is questionable. Why would you eat that? As long as we can remember, hot dogs have been synonymous with Americana. Whether enjoyed during the seventh inning stretch, around a cozy campfire, or sitting in the back of a truck in a come and pump parking lot, hot dogs are a nitrate filled snack that people eat. Despite their suspicions, they're really eating eyeballs and eyeballs. Hot dogs are actually made from skeletal meat, Hi. which is about 30% fat, spices, and preservatives. And while they don't contain genitals or hooves, oh. our government does allow pig snouts and stomachs, cow lips and livers, goat gullets, and lamb spleens. It doesn't necessarily mean they're in there, only that they're allowed to be. So if hot dogs aren't dog meat, and we're assured that they're not, how do you make them? Well, after the cuts of meat people will pay for are gone, the trimmings are ground and then salted. Then spices and food starch are added. After that, it's mixed with water and delicious corn syrup, because everyone in America loves delicious mm. corn syrup. And pureed even further into a fine meat batter. That puree is then vacuum pumped into casings so you can slip them between your buns. Modern technology and dietary preferences have led to a wider array of hot dogs. Kosher, chicken, turkey, vegetarian, that weird kind that has the tuba cheese inside. But traditionally, hot dogs are made from pork and beef that has been encased in the small intestines of a sheep, which is what gives the Franks that juicy snap whenever you take a bite. Tastes tend to vary regionally. Cherry red and mild in the South, smoky in the Midwest, and spicy in the New York. But hot dogs, like most Americans, trace their roots overseas. Similar pork sausages, or Frankfurter Wurstchen, were given to Germans to nosh on during imperial coronations as early as the 13th century. And in 1870, a German immigrant named Charles Feltman began selling Frankfurter Wurstchen in rolls on Coney Island. Time to open a big door. Hmm, yes, but why would you eat <laughs> In 1916, Nathan Handworker, of Nathan's famous hot dog fame, <laughs> opened a stand that catered to the poor and working class of Coney Island. He charged five cents a dog, half of what his former employer charged at a nearby beer garden. Handworker! So it quickly became a cheap source of protein. And depending on how fancy you want to go, hot dogs are still a cheap and easy meal to eat while on the go. Nom, 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 nom. That said, a recent class action lawsuit is claiming that hot dogs increase the risk of colon cancer. <laughs> According to the American Institute of Cancer Research, someone who eats a hot dog every day increases their risk of colorectal cancer by 21%. But who eats a hot dog every day? Like, that person's kind of weird. I do. As with all things, moderation is key. So enjoy a Frank at the ballpark. Grab yourself a wiener. In fact, Look out. grab all the wieners. They're cheap. Have a cookout with that awkward coworker you invited camping. That's good. Camping? What? This whole episode is brought to you by Camp, premiering July 10th and airing Wednesdays at 10, 9 central on NBC. Yay! I'm a mega splash! What? Mm. I'm a sassy mom. Mm -hmm. oh. Woo! Wah! I'm a boat. Camp, Wednesdays at 10, 9 central. So when I think of camp, first thing I think of is hot dogs. So we have three of the finest quarter pound wieners. There's too much stuff on here. I'm just gonna do it. Just do it. Do it. Yeah. One, two, three, go. I think it's that. And that's for you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, because uh, Kay's vegetarian. So for some reason she decided to uh, join us. <laughs> decided to remind I was told us. There would be soy dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's in our nightmares. <laughs> How is it? It's yummy. It tastes like a hot dog. Right? It's, a, it's a hot dog. Yeah. So the second thing I think of when I think about camp is water balloons. <laughs> oh my god, are you going? Time out, time out, time out! I said time out! Oh, 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 oh,
The Mill Master does the unthinkable by crossing a donut with a grilled cheese sandwich. Check out the true definition of awesome sauce. It's a write-off between Olga K and Tyler Oakley. See who loses and eats bull's testicles. Hint, it's not their first time round that rodeo. The food dudes from Dude Food take a live lobster and turn it into a mean plate of pasta. So easy, you can make it in a pinch. We spiked our mac and cheese with some beer and topped it with an epic mealtime bacon weave. You'll want a slice of this pie a la angioplasty. Subscribe for more free tasted treats.